Operation Twi Luna by Twilight the Scribe. Chaos, what else needs to be said? Discord cracked his knuckles like a concert pianist. <laughs> Time to throw subtlety out of the window. Looks like we're due for a good old storm of chaos. He then pulled open a hole in reality and started tossing random stuff out. Let's see what we have here. This went on for quite a while, and when Cadence and Celestia Worredly checked up on him, they found him considering a large pile of stuff ranging from pies and kazoos to a pink lawn flamingo and a grandfather clock. He was muttering furiously to himself. Choices, choices, which method should I go with? Celestia turned to Cadence and shook her head. I'm almost afraid to ask. Cadence nodded in agreement. Hearing them, Discord turned. Oh, hi, ladies. He pulled out the pair of sunglasses he had worn on the spying mission and twirled his mustache. Ready to watch the master at work? The fun shall begin. I think your definition of fun differs a lot from ours, Discord, Cadence muttered under her breath. Ignoring her, Discord pulled out a calendar and started ripping pages out. Step one, we need a more romantic setting. Hehe. <laughs> There was a brilliant flash that whited out everything for a couple of seconds. Celestia was immediately alert, her horn lit as she rushed to the window and glanced hastily around. Discord, what did you do? Outside, nothing seemed to be wrong. Except the number of couples who had apparently decided to have a day today and decorate the whole of Canterlot with pink hearts and glitter and stuff. Now, that's strange. Today isn't a holiday. A sudden suspicion crept over her, and she gingerly peeked at the calendar Discord had been holding. The date was... Discord bounced into the air. Happy Hearts and Hoofs Day, the perfect day for couples to get together. There was a loud clang as two jaws hit the floor, literally thanks to Discord. He burst into another fit of cackles. You should see the looks on your faces, priceless. Well, arrivederci, I'm off to work. His tail turned into a spring as he bounced out the window with a whoop. Celestia rushed to the window to see him flapping around the streets of Canterlot and turning the trees into chocolate and creating lots of cotton candy clouds. Roses sprouted randomly from roofs, the pavements, walls and tables. For once, no pony seemed to mind. Much. She muttered a quiet prayer. Oh, Faust, please let this place be still standing by tonight. Discord whistled a merry tune as he summoned lots of pink flamingos and buffaloes in tattoos, then set them in positions. He whipped out a conductor's baton and waved it once, causing the trees that lined the avenues to bow slightly. Perfect. The stage was set, now for the performers. He zapped himself into Luna's bedroom. Wakey, wakey, it's time to rise and... shine? The bed was empty. He frowned to himself, then shrugged and teleported to the breakfast table, where, sure enough, Luna was enjoying a garden salad. She looked up in mild surprise when he appeared standing in the middle of the table. Hello, Luna. She raised an eyebrow in almost perfect imitation of her sister. Hello, Discord. Discord leaned forward and picked up one of the greens on her salad, eyeing it skeptically. Had your breakfast? Luna half frowned. Half of it. Luna grinned. Good enough, let's go. He took hold of Luna's horn and disappeared in a flash. They reappeared in the Royal Cantalot Gardens. Luna instantly zapped him with her horn the instant they reappeared, forcing him to let her go. Discord, explanation, now, she said calmly, her horn blazing. He wagged a finger. Uh-uh, just roll with it. He snapped his finger, summoning the dress he had gotten rarity to make and magicked it on Luna. Before she could say anything else, he teleported to the carousel boutique, where Twilight was just trying on the dress Rarity had made, grabbed her, and teleported back. While they were still getting their bearings, Discord checked his stopwatch. How about that? I beat my own personal teleporting record. A purple aura surrounded him, and he was suddenly pulled to the earth by an annoyed alicorn. Discord, what are you up to? Discord reached to his mouth and zipped it up, breaking the zipper and throwing it away. His free hoof turned into a hand which clicked its fingers while a wooden signboard with the words appeared in his lion paw. Chaos erupted. That was the only way to describe it. 
In a flurry of color, the trees swayed and tapped their branches against their trunks into drum beats. Their willowy voices raised. Love is in bloom. The two of you should get a room. So much sexual tension. Go on, just take action. Because love is in bloom. You really need to get a room. Love is in bloom. The only word that rhymes here is broom. Pink lawn flamingos started dancing and singing accompanied. Oh, twisting their necks like professional dancers into a hot shape. Buffaloes in hot pink tattoos twirled around. The trees swayed to the drumbeat. A confused white mare with purple shades appeared with a huge turntable. She soon got the message and had a wicked tune going, driving the performers into renewed motion. Discord whipped a tear from his eye while the two mares just stared, stunned at everything going on. The trees launched into the second stanza, and the clouds above them started raining glittery red hearts. Love is in bloom. The two of you should get a room. Moonbat needs to kiss twice. Just do it, no need to ask why, because love is in bloom. A pretty star, a pretty moon, love is in bloom. Another word that could fit here is doom. By this point, both mares' faces had turned a very bright shade of red, their jaws still hanging wide enough to catch flies. Discord cackled as his video camera continued to roll. Priceless, priceless. The trees, the flamingos and buffaloes bowed to the sound of cant applause, then stiffened and went back to the original positions. The clouds disappeared as well, leaving the two mares knee-deep in glittery hearts. Discord considered sending the buffaloes and flamingos back, but they seemed happy enough here, so he left them to it. Oh, and he sent the DJ back to her date with that grey chalice too, who said he didn't pay attention to detail. Discord! Twilight's voice spoke up. Would you care to tell us what the hay just happened? Luna finished the sentence. Discord stuck out his tongue and teleported away, nearly collapsing with laughter. When the two highly blushing mares tried to walk away, they found themselves stuck to one another. Just as they found out they couldn't step more than three steps away from each other, Discord remembered to send them that note. P.S. I meant what I said about that sexual tension. You two are stuck together for the day. That should give you enough time. Happy hearts and hoofs day. Sincerely, Discord, ex-spirit of chaos and disharmony, and currently matchmaker extraordinaire. The two mares blinked, then burst into a fit of weak laughter, still overcome by what had just happened. Discord was on a high. He still couldn't go five minutes without remembering that grand prank he just pulled off and snickering at the thought of it. He pranked a few more couples with some minor pranks, but didn't do much else. That prank had satisfied his chaos needs for weeks. He sauntered around the cantalot and Ponyville, munching on a combination of cotton candy sprinkled liberally with popcorn and soaked with chocolate rain, looking for unsuspecting couples to spice up their hearts and hoofs day. It was a perfect day. He really should do this kind of thing more often. He summoned a watch and checked the time. Four o'clock. He was going to present his success at nine to Charlie and Katie. Seemed a long way off. Discord hated waiting. Hmm. This is taking too long. Well, why not? Celestia paced borrowedly in the Chamber of Harmony, where the elements of harmony used to be kept. As she tried not to think of the worldwide catastrophe Discord was probably unleashing right now. Suddenly she felt the sun sink down the horizon and the moon shoot up. Her horn ached a little from the sudden jerk the sun gave. She closed her eyes in despair and checked the clock on the wall. Nine o'clock. She sucked in a deep breath and trotted towards the gardens. If it was still there. On the way out she picked up Cadence, who was on a date with Shining Armor. He ended up coming along as well. Discord was waiting for them there, wearing the stupid outfit he had worn on the first day, with the tuxedo and everything. He had a pair of binoculars pressed to his sunglasses as he stared over a bush. He was muttering something to himself. Upon getting closer, she heard it was, Kiss, 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 why don't they kiss? She rolled her eyes and slowly peeked over the hedge. 
Her sister and Twilight were enjoying a simple dinner in the grounds, their wings extended and touching at the tips so they could still sit on opposite sides. They seemed happy. Ding! A chandelier lit up over Discord's head. He threw away his binoculars, which turned into a bird and flew away and extended a finger. Just a moment, there's just one last thing. He clicked his finger, and suddenly Twilight and Luna were sitting on chairs facing each other, and Discord was at a podium with a daisy he just plucked. Celestia, Cadence, Shining, and a random gardener who had happened to be nearby found themselves on the audience. Spotlights swung around to illuminate the stage brightly, and several explosions of confetti went off. Discord bellowed into the daisy in a ringmaster's voice. Come on, come on, come to watch Equestria's most popular show. Answer that question. Shining leaned over. I'm pretty sure there's no such show. Discord wagged a finger, apparently having heard the whisper. Yet, my dear stallion, yet. He turned to the two bemused mares on the stage. Tonight I shall ask each of you some questions, and you shall answer honestly. He grinned. Example, Twilight Sparkle, what is the worst score you have ever gotten? Twilight's eyes widened and she shook her head, but then her mouth seemed to speak of its own accord. Seventh grade, equestrian test. I got 99.5 because I misspelled a word. She quickly tried to hide her face in her mane in embarrassment. Celestia couldn't restrain a giggle. Cadence smacked her lightly. It was no joke, auntie. I was the one who had to comfort her that night. Discord shrugged. Meh. But now that you know how this game works, let's start with some real questions. He rubbed his hands together in delight. Lona, what are your feelings towards Twilight Sparkle? I love her, she replied simply. Everyone cheered. Discord clapped his hands and turned back to Twilight. Twilight Sparkle, what are your feelings towards Lona? I love her too, Twilight smiled. Ah, Cadence squealed, bursting into tears. Shining hugged her and patted her back. Celestia found her eyes wet too. This was such a sweet moment. Discord pumped a fist. Tada was yes, now kiss. The two mares glanced at him in surprise, then apprehensively at the audience, but finally sweetly nuzzled each other, their wings rising to block the kiss. Then, blushing lightly, they stepped down the stage. Celestia shook her head in grudging admiration. I can't believe it. She whispered to Cadence. Discord's plan really worked. Cadence nodded, dumbstruck. Who would have guessed? Discord's plan? Twilight asked from beside them. Celestia and Cadence shared a guilty smile. Then they turned to Twilight sheepishly. We kind of had an operation where we tried to... Get the two of you to admit your feelings to each other, Cadence explained. I pronounce Operation Twiluna a complete success. Thanks to more. Discord crowd to the accompaniment of several explosions of fireworks and confetti. He landed on the stage and started shuffling. Cheers erupted from an unseen audience. Luna gave her niece and aunt a confused glance. You were trying to get us together to matchmake us? Two heads nodded sheepishly. Luna and Twilight shared a glance, then burst into the giggles again. Oh, Faust! We thought you were just trying to give us the best anniversary with each other ever. If you were, then you certainly succeeded, you know. Discord's ears caught the last word and he froze. Anniversary? Cadence's eyes nearly popped. With each other? Celestia's composure suddenly broke. Anniversary? The two mares giggled uncontrollably. Twilight managed to wheeze out between gasps of mirth. It was perfect, you know. The first day where you allowed us to spend a day together as mere friends was a great change from our usual night dates. That dinner was absolutely beautiful and Discord is a great comedian. All in all, it was pretty much the best anniversary ever. Granted, it was a few days early, but it was still amazing, right, Luna? Luna nodded, still shaking with laughter. She lightly poked Celestia, who was frozen in shock. Shall we leave them to recover while we take a flight alone? she asked her mare friend. Twilight nuzzled her back. Of course, Luna. The two lovebirds spread their wings and flew off into the night sky, leaving behind a confused gardener, a surprised and highly amused stallion, two shocked alicorns, and a flabbergasted draconicus. 
shaking himself out of his stupor, Discord's mouth still opened and closed like a fish. He managed to get it under control. What just happened? Celestia groaned and started chuckling weakly at the irony of it all. I can't believe it. Cadence got her laughter under control. Never again. This was a one-time experiment. No more matchmaking for me. Discord shrugged. I don't know. How do you girls feel about Apple Dash? The two elecons gave him murderous glares. <laughs> Forget I asked. End.